My name is L.A. Brown. I am from Bluffton, Indiana, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about how I found a B Model Max school bus. One of my friends uh, just happened to see it on Facebook. It was about uh, 150 miles away, and I decided that weekend I better at least go look at it, see if I could uh, rescue that thing from the scrap yard. <clears throat> I went up there. It was northwest of Chicago, and in the backyard, uh, trees grown up around it, lots of trash everywhere, other buses and, and things that they had scrapped and left. Anyway, so made a deal with the owner and uh, went back the next month. It was quite a challenge to get it out of the, out of the yard. It was uh, extremely muddy, cut the trees down, uh, had to hire a wrecker to finally pull it out. We took our low boy and went up and, and got it. And uh, now I'm the proud owner of a 1960 B Model Max school bus. Uh, the serial number on it uh, is uh, something something 33. They made, they, they ordered a total of 36 of that particular bus. And so mine is close to the top, but weren't very many made. I do collect B model Max. Uh, I have approximately five, six, seven. <laughs> it's no longer a collection, it's an obsession. But I do like B models, always have. And I bought it a couple of years ago thinking that uh, me and my buddies would uh, do something with it. Uh, we're all in the construction business and, the, and construction has been very good and so none of us have had time to do anything to it really. Uh, so it is just a yard find, but uh, it it uh, came from the factory with a Chrysler Hemi engine in it. Uh, it does have the Mac 5-speed transmission. It's got a Mac rear end in it. I think it's a 35 passenger. The interest one of the interesting things about it is none of the seats had any rips in them. The guy had uh, put newspaper uh, over the windows and so it did not uh, fade inside and uh, probably saved the material from from deteriorating but uh, like i say the interesting thing is that kids did not cut the seats up like they do nowadays and uh, but uh, it was full of junk uh, we did have to have to remove all the junk and there was signs that the coons had been in there too but but all in all uh, it uh, the mac part uh, is is really solid. The bus part is not quite so much. <laughs>